Hi guys, I'm still playing around with uh, how to create a kernel and once I figured things out I often put some things in scripts and on the github.com Eric Dubois you'll find that um, you can find scripts for me because the knowledge I needed to be there somewhere if I wanted to get it at some point in time right then indeed I just run this package which says install the mod probe database, no confirm needed. Run it so there's a configuration file and add the modules to it. And just this for future reference, that's the service that's running. One other thing that's running in the memory. That's gonna check out the mod probes. What, what elements do I need? What systems do I plug in? A USB, I haven't plugged in for example, the USB uh, headset, the boost headset. Uh, is it gonna change things? Next to webcam, this has no webcam. So these modules will be added to the list. And if I build them, right, if I build the kernel, then it will take a look at the database. Oh, look, it uses this particular piece of hardware. So I'll better put it in the kernel. That's what it's for. I'm gonna make some more things. So in this case, it's the XenMod Edge kernel. We can keep on uh, growing this, this, um, this script basically i found my knowledge on the mod pro wiki i tell him to get the well actually we can do both right we can actually time this thing and read it thing so time create create linux xenmod edge enter off it goes there's an unexpected error let's have a look It is done anyway. It is created. Doesn't feel right, but let's um, let's read it. So go get me the package, extract the package, remove the package after extraction, and then it's going to find all kinds of files inside the package build. We've done it manually. No, that's not going to work manually we told him to no not fix key we've told him to go for micro architecture skylake is still true i'm on another machine now i'm on the iso builder but uh it's still skylake right this is the iso builder to so the newer machine in my park here computer park <laughs> use numa no use tracers no compiler gcc still the same compressed modules no still the same and this is a yes local mod configuration and it's building right the rest is is the scripts or the package built from the guys so i just changed a few things in here from 0 to 38 from yes to no from yes to no gcc stays the same stays the same i can switch it if i want to for now it stays the same and then we're gonna make the package and all dependencies that we missing on the PC will get installed. I did change something up here, but I don't wanna change anything. Just taking a look. In the meantime, we've wasted time. So let's do that again, because I want to time it this time. So two minutes here. I really want to time how long does it take on this particular machine to build a XenMod kernel. So that's the general information. That's what I need. That can go. And that can go. And the only thing I need is a script that actually is going to build everything for me. And that's how it should be, right? Automatically. What did we forget? The time. Did we forget it? Sure we did. Sure we did. So time. Off you go again. Download it again. So in here we have this. The tar exits 
and the patch for exam mod. And this time we're not going to waste a moment, a second. So it's number 38, it's Skylake. I've changed that. And this time I'm going to say no to new stuff. No. And no. And no. And we're off building. So while we're building, let's go back up. So with the scripts, I told them to get the stuff, extract it. If it's extracted, delete it. Then told them to disable the function tracer, disable Numa. Told him it's number 38, it's Skylake. So it's this guy, 38. Then, yeah, let's scroll over here. And we stopped everything. So 38. Then we're running Steven Rostet's makes local mod config now, which gonna select the things I need on this machine, and not select all the others. And then the, all the questions came, uh, the GCC plugins, in future reference probably less choices, but new stuff. Just said no everywhere. I'll see what happens to our machine. But what I want to know is how long does it take on this particular computer system, right? So an ink C minus B, it's the ISO builder, but it has eight cores, Intel core i7 here, 1700K, 4700, max 5100. And we do have NVIDIA RTX 260 on it. I've got rid of the NVIDIA package so the pseudo pacman minus s nvidia it's not only here i have installed the dkms so i can switch around between linux kernels zen hardened lts and also this guy zen mod right so it will build my my package for me This is now installed. TKMS, NVIDIA settings, NVIDIA utils are working just fine. There you go. How long does it take building this particular kernel? And how big is it? Just wanted to know. And in the meantime, I've automated my building scripts. Get everything, extract everything, remove the tar GZ, replace everything I want to replace, and build, go inside the particular folder there, and make the package and skip. In this case, we had to skip keys. Problem with keys again. Where do you get that knowledge? Men make package. Voila. It takes around four minutes. Four minutes, three minutes, 20, 50. You know, the difference between these two guys, but around four minutes to build it. Then it's up to me to decide if I'm gonna test it out on a ISO builder, because this is the machine that cannot go wrong ever. Needs to be stable to give you all the Repos or the Arcalix repositories are built here on this particular machine and supplied to you guys. All right, another video about building. I'll put it online github.com, Eric Dubois, Arcalix Nemesis. That's where the script will be. Cheers.